Did you know that you could use your MIDI controller to switch between Musio articulations in Logic Pro? This is all thanks to Logic's articulation sets. And if set up correctly, they can make your workflow and your template building much more efficient and easier to navigate. So this video is part two of a Musio articulation set series. This one's gonna focus on creating custom switches within your controller for Musio by using MIDI channels and MIDI CC values. So if you wanna learn how to create custom virtual key switches, then make sure you check out part one as well. So just like in the other video, I want to explain what exactly Musio is. Musio is a subscription-based product that gives you access to features from a catalog of CineSamples libraries. Now, I am incredibly fortunate enough to be part of the beta team. So for the better part of a year, I've really seen how Musio has grown and I cannot wait for what they have planned in the future. Like there's a ton of exciting stuff coming our way. Right now, Musio has a limited number of libraries, but it's constantly growing and they eventually plan on having the entire CineSamples catalog for composers to choose from. With something like Musio, all you have to do is just search for the instrument or articulation that you want and then load it into the rack and then just play. So if you do want to learn more about Musio, then make sure you check out my review video if you haven't done so already. What I love about Musio is that you can download individual articulations without the need to download an entire library or a massive master patch. In my previous video, we went over how to create custom key switches for Musio, but there are some downsides to using key switches as well. They're not great when dealing with different instrument ranges, you have to remember which articulation goes to which switch, and this can all lead to wrong switches being triggered and an overlap between instruments and their ranges. There's also a lack of articulation consistency across orchestral sections. Your string articulations are gonna look very different from maybe your brass or woodwinds. So the solution is to take key switches off your keyboard altogether and use a MIDI controller to switch between articulations. Now, I personally love Touch OSC as my MIDI controller, but you can set this up with other MIDI controllers as well. Now, by assigning MIDI articulations to different MIDI channels and ultimately MIDI CC values, you free up keys on your keyboard and then can switch between articulations at the touch of a button. Now, this is gonna be a bit more in-depth to set up compared to key switches, but the payoff is incredible. So the very first thing you'll wanna do is make sure each articulation is routed to a different MIDI channel. If you followed along in part one, then this should already be familiar to you, but if not, simply load in the articulations that you want in the order that you want, and then assign accordingly from one through 16. In this example, I have up to 13. But something to keep in mind, if you head on over to the settings tab, you can open up Musio Connect and they have a auto increment MIDI channel option so that you don't have to go in individually and route each one. It'll just go up in order. Next, if you go to the inspector and under track, you'll see the articulation set drop down menu. Now, even if you followed along in the previous video, you'll still want to click new because we're telling our articulation set to function differently. But in my case, you'll see that I already pre-created this articulation set for this video purpose. So I'm just going to click edit. And then you'll see that we start off with the articulations tab. By using the plus button, you'll want to add the same number of articulations that match the articulations that you loaded in in Musio. And then you'll just want to title them preferably in the order that they appear in Musio. And then if we head on over to the output tab, you'll see all of the articulations listed. To the right of the articulation, you'll see the type dropdown menu, and you'll wanna make sure that you click controller because we're using a MIDI controller. And in my case, I'm using an iPad with Touch OSC. Under channel, you'll wanna use the same MIDI channel that you used in Musio. So again, this is one through 16. And if you listed everything in order, it should just go up from one, two, three, four, five, and then the same way you did over here, one, two, three, four, five. Now is probably gonna be a good time to pause before moving forward because this next part is going to be dependent on your MIDI controller. So for me, I decided that MIDI control 9, MIDI CC 9, will act as my host for all of my articulations. But make sure that you don't confuse this with MIDI channel 9. 
we're looking at Continuous Controller 9, MIDI CC9, the same way that CC11 controls expression and CC1 controls modulation. You should take the time, look into your DAW and see if there's a CC that is typically open or one that you don't really use. And for me, I just chose nine. Once you have that number, decide that this will be for articulation so that you don't forget. Finally, you'll see that we have this value option and I have some numbers preset already. These numbers go from zero to 127 just like with other CCs. As of right now, Musio doesn't really allow you to change the CC value within the instrument. But in order for this to work, you should still determine which articulation is gonna be assigned to which MIDI CC value between zero to 127. So take some time now, maybe in your notes to indicate which values from maybe zero to 127 you want assigned to each articulation. These numbers that you see here are for my personal touch OSC setup. And honestly, that could be an entire video in itself, but I'm gonna try to go over some of the basics right now. The idea is that the range of the values one and two are specifically for legato. And then the value range of three and four is specifically for sustains. And five and six is this extra short spiccato seven and eight spiccato slash staccatissimo. And it goes on and on and on and on. This is definitely a ton of work, but this list has streamlined my articulations across all of my libraries from different sample developers. I could use this list for Musio. I could use it for other Cine sample libraries. I could use it for Spitfire products and East West products, anything. Think about it. In most libraries, there are always gonna be legatos and sustains and spiccatos or, or shorts, some sort of trill, some sort of gliss or run. And then if there are uncommon articulations, I can always assign them to FX between long and shorts. You don't have to copy exactly what I did here. For now, simply use articulations that you picked in Musio and assign a range of values for each one. They can be in increments of two, they could be in increments of five, 10, 20, whatever works best for you. Once you went through each articulation and gave them a range in your notes, you can then add them to the value area in your articulation set. So you'll see that one is the starting point of one legato here. You'll see that for sustain, three is the starting point, and I have three and four here. For spiccato, I have seven, and spiccato staccatissimo, I have the range of seven and eight here nine for staccato, nine and 10 here, and it's gonna go on and on. Now from here, we can go to our piano roll and see that our articulations are loaded up. You can tell different MIDI notes to act as different articulations as if we were using key switches. So these are gonna be legato, we have some spiccato here, we have a half step trill, How do you actively change articulations the same way that you would as if there were key switches on your keyboard? You could always go to the Musio instance and pick your articulations from here. But honestly, this could be such a slow and tedious process to pull up Musio, pick the articulation if you're in the middle of being creative and composing. So let's go back to our articulation set. So far, we've chosen MIDI CC9 to act as the host for our articulations. We told each articulation to be routed to a different MIDI channel, one through six, 16 in Musio, and we assigned a range of values between 0 and 127 for each articulation. In Touch OSC, I can create a bunch of different buttons and faders and assign them to MIDI CC9. And then for each articulation, I indicated its starting point with the scale range. So for Legato, the controller is set to 9, and the scale range is 1 to 1, or it could be 1 to 2, but we know that Legato here is set to 1. And then if I were to click sustain, we see that the scale range in touch OSC goes to three. And we know that sustain here is set to three. And then if we were to go to maybe pizzicato, we see that it's still controller nine and the scale range is 15. And we know that the starting point for pizzicato is 15. Now I'm not sponsored by touch OSC, but I cannot recommend this app enough. Now I wanna give a huge shout out to Zach Heidi and his cinematic studio series, touch OSC template. That was a big inspiration behind my own setup. Now, if you wanna connect what we're doing in this articulation set to Touch OSC or your MIDI controller, we have to head on over to the Switches tab. Most likely your Switches page is gonna be empty. 
Here I have everything preset. All you have to do is press the plus button until you have all of your articulations loaded in. And what's great is that the type, the name, the selector, the values are all saved from your output setup. And lastly, you'll need to make sure that your MIDI remote is turned on or set to blue. Now you'll be able to use your iPad or your MIDI controller to switch between Musio articulations. I love articulation sets. I think that they offer so much control over your instruments and can maximize the efficiency of your orchestral template. Using them to set up your MIDI CC articulations definitely is a ton of front end work, but again, the payoff is so rewarding. I prefer this method of articulation sets over something like key switches because we can access so many more articulations without losing available keys on our keyboard. And if you set up your MIDI controller or something like Touch OSC properly, you'll have quick access to all of your articulations without having to remember which key does what. Now, of course, one major con to this MIDI CC method is that depending on how in-depth you wanna go, this can take a lot of work and it can be really confusing if you're not totally sure on what you're doing. But if you want an easier way to handle articulation sets, then your next step is to tap or click this video to learn more about setting up custom key switches for Musio. I'll see you over there. And as always, happy composing.